to Gymshark episode 20. I'm on my way to work and I was supposed to leave like maybe 20 minutes ago but I was in bed because I only have one place to train, one gap to train and it's like I can't talk yet. It's my first gap of the day, so I wanted to go to work and have my porridge before my first client. Ugh. So basically, when I had to train fasted, that was really long, and, and I don't want to, but if I don't train fasted, then I probably won't train at all, so today's session will probably be small, depending on how I feel. But yeah, it's very crisp today, like the weather is like, anyway. Hi and welcome back to a workout voiceover. So you may know I have been really wanting to get my pull-ups down. So in between my glute activation exercises today, I am doing these pull-up holds. I can now do six deep breaths which doesn't look like it's very long but it feels like it is ages and I'm focusing on lifting my chest and activating my lats as much as I can at the moment I just <clears throat> excuse me at the moment I can just sort of feel how heavy my body is I don't know if that makes sense rather than feel the muscles so I'm working on the activation my first glute activation exercise is the clam so you want to stack your hips right on top of each other make sure your top hip isn't dipping into your waist, you want to push it away from you so your waist stays long and then you want to think about squeezing your corset or your like deeper abdominal muscles, your pelvic floor a little bit to keep your pelvis still and then that movement is only going to come from the thigh bone, your femur moving in your hip socket. So you're going to isolate your glutes and your glutes only and you're going to do 20 on each leg. And then the second glute activation exercise, so after you've done another pull-up hold or whatever particular exercise that you want to work on, is just a straight leg raise. Um, you can do this sort of faster, but you're much better off doing it slow and focusing on it coming from your glutes and your glutes only. So you can see that my like ribs and my hips want to move a little bit, so I'm trying to just really squeeze and that's why I've got effort in my face because I'm really trying not to move. Anyway, that is 20 on each side and then this is my least favourite one but I'm trying to get good at it. So literally just lying on your front and then squeezing your glute to lift your leg. My left side, it feels really weird. It feels like I'm using my hamstring and my right, I can really, really feel it on my in my glute. So I'm doing this one just to help with that mind-muscle connection in this position that feels uncomfortable for me. So you're going to do... 10 on each leg and then you're going to squeeze your knees and feet together and do 10 with both legs at the same time. I really like this because it's not often that you do a glute activation, a glute exercise with your feet together and it feels different, it feels really good, you feel it in your glutes and your inner thighs as well. Um, yeah, I really like it, 10 of each of those and then you should be ready and warm. The first exercise is a front squat. So I did one set of 10, I think, with just an empty bar. And then I put this up to 40 kilos and then 42.5 kilos. So I did one warm up set with a bar and then three sets with a little bit more weight on. I actually really really like front squats I think some people say that they're great for your quads but I find it easier to drive and push into my heels and think about my hips coming underneath the bar to lift the weight so I feel like I get a lot of glute when I do these 
Um, if you're new to these, take a deep breath in at the top, lift your elbows as high as you can and lock your core. Then lower under control, pushing your hips back and your knees out. And then breathe out as you push down into the floor and drive up. So breathe in, really lift your elbows, take it down, push your knees wide, and then push into your heels and drive up. So these you'll feel in your core a lot, and if you get good at these, these will really help your back squats as well. Next up we have a superset. This is sped up, by the way. This is a front foot elevated lunge on the Smith machine. I did six pulses and then six full reps on my second and third set. This is my first set and I was kind of feeling it out and my heart rate just went so high when I did these. Um, for, um, technique wise you want your weight to be in your heel and then the reason I've got quite a big forward bend is because I'm really trying to push my hips out and load that glute and then pushing into my heel and think about using my glutes and my glutes only to push up so trying to pretend that I don't even have a back leg so you're going to do 12 in total six pulses and then six that go all the way up almost like a step up and um, then a single leg bridge now I never do these I feel like they're easier when you elevate your upper body um, but I wanted to try them from the floor because it's been a while and I struggled so 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 much so I did only eight on each side really slow and trying to get as high as possible have a play with your foot position so that you feel the contact in your glutes more than your hamstrings and then the second time I did it I actually started in a two foot plank a two foot bridge sorry so I could see how high I was supposed to get um, and then aim to get that high in every single other one I also found that crossing my foot over made it easy but then I decided I probably shouldn't do easy and I should just reach up instead so yeah two uh, two exercises as a superset, three rounds, 12 in your front foot elevated and then go 8 to 10 each side on your single leg bridge and add weight if you feel good and if you feel super controlled. Final two exercises are also a superset. First of all you have a kettlebell sumo deadlift and I elevated my feet because I felt like I got a much much better range. For your deadlifts you want to push your hips back as far as possible and drive your knees out. You want to pull your shoulders down your back and lengthen the nape of your neck so that your back is really, really straight. And you want to feel like you're stretching your glutes and hamstrings in the back position. And then push into your heels and really tuck your hips under as you come up. You've got 8 to 10 of those. Go heavy. Then a lateral cable leg kick slash hip abduction anyway so I did my first two sets standing and as always my supporting leg just absolutely died I went really really light on these so I, to try not to swing but as you can see like the struggle was real so on my third set I decided to do it like the glute activation we did at the beginning so attaching the cable to my ankle when I am lying down I found it really hard to keep my hips perfectly still but I didn't feel it in my lower back or my core really I felt it in my glutes and my glutes only so I loved it in a kind of painful like push my face into the floor kind of love um but yeah so that was really good and you have 15 each side of that and then that is the end of the workout my workout was so good and then I had some porridge and then a session and I've showered and I was in such a good mood until I read a notification on my YouTube and basically someone was just so unsupportive and was like oh my god this is an embarrassment a personal trainer that's like 30 to 40 percent body fat one who is it embarrassing apart from me so shut the <coughs> up and two like if you don't have anything nice or supportive to say don't say it i'm getting leaner not for your approval so that i feel good so if you've got nothing nice to say fuck off my channel if you don't think i'm lean enough for your liking then fuck off
my channel. I've had a couple comments in the last few days, actually. Yeah. So, um, don't watch if you don't like it. That is all. Anyway, I'm sorting my diet out. At first, this guy put a comment on one of my videos saying, let my AO like, love that you ate chicken and broccoli and then had a hot dog and I thought they were genuinely being funny because we are quite good at food prepping and then if I'm hungry, I end up eating shit, which is just a struggle. This is my food prep. So I replied like, yeah, I know my diet's shit. And then I noticed that they'd commented on another video taking the piss out of me and Ash for not being lean. Mm, what well, I am recording my weight loss journey. If I was lean, I wouldn't really have much of a journey to go on, and then when I am lean, I'll try and do something else. So, ugh. Anyway, I'm in a really bad mood now. And it's so annoying because I get some really nice comments, but obviously it's the bad ones that I remember. So, I am home from work it's 10 to 5 and I'm so hungry all I've had so far is that porridge and that meal of pasta and stuff I'm just gonna balance you here Yeep. and um, I don't know how, I'm, honestly I'm really hungry but I don't know what to do because all I want to do is like eat four slices of toast like that's what I fancy because I guess I, I guess it's because I want something quick and that person's comment honestly has annoyed me so much I know I can't not everyone is gonna like my videos but it still sucks having a, someone like <clears throat> comment on your appearance or the way that you suck at dieting but I am very aware of those and that is why I am doing this. So I need to not be down about it. Because I know that I suck at dieting and I know that I'm not very lean. So why does someone telling me that need to upset me? And some people are just arseholes. So I need to like eat something mindful rather than just eating what I want that's quick so um, I'm gonna like chill plan like an actual meal to have rather than just a big old snack I might wait for Ash to come home actually because then we'll eat something like decent anyway I'm so sorry to put a downer on this like my workout was really good it's my birthday tomorrow, yay. Um, oh, and thank you for video suggestions. I've got a list here and here. I've literally, I've written them all down. There's a lot. I've got 13 so far. Um, keep suggestions coming and I'll write them down. And yes. So I've decided on poached eggs and vegetables for now um, and I've put everything into my fitness pal and also a sweet potato and two sausages for this evening when Ash is home and it's like 1400 calories or something which is far too little I've done 20,000 steps today at that workout and I want to maintain muscle so I'm not trying to be in a huge deficit even though I want to lose weight well I want to lose body fat but if I know go into a bigger deficit I'll just end up binging so I'm not going to do that and I don't want to get more comments like lol you eat really healthy and then you eat pizza I love pizza having pizza tomorrow because it's my birthday I don't know I'm not gonna vlog tomorrow because me and Ash are gonna film another video maybe I'll take a photo of everything I eat yeah and then I'll put that in my next vlog but um anyway so this is what I'm having now I think this is like a 
solid position. It's literally eggs and veg and avocado. So this is good. And cha. Kilo hoops are 122 calories per packet. So obviously I'm having two packets because they fit. And then I'm having a chocolate muffin, and that is how many? 1,600 calories for the day. And I might have a protein shake later because my protein is low. Crunchy, crunchy. Good. Ash came home with this machine and I screamed because we've not had a smoothie maker for like three weeks, four weeks, Something like that. I don't know but this is the easiest, bestest way to have like a healthy pudding and I love it. What you do? Easy. Uh, mm. I've got a book. Oh, what's that? Use kind and recipes. Oh, is there not recipes in that? Okay. This is good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. oh my god. Look at how cute this is. This is strawberry and banana, like frozen fruit, and then women's best peaches and cream protein and almond milk. And it's pink and pretty. Gorgeous, and it puts me at like 2,000 calories for the whole day. But because I've been super active, I think 2,000 calories is good, and I don't want to get into the trap of under eating. Um, although tomorrow is my birthday, and I'm probably gonna overeat, so that's fine. Um, but I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so so much for watching. I hope you enjoy that workout, and if you give it a go, leave me a comment down below. And until next time, stay happy and healthy. Bye.